I don't see any gods, but I can imagine a god. I was thinking about something like uh, looking at the malevolence in the world, looking at all the, the terrible things that humans do to each other, right? Yeah. And then I was thinking, you, because obviously you can think about times when people have been bad to you or yeah. you've been bad to other people, right? Mm -hmm. But let's say people being bad to you specifically. And I looked at it from a, a different pers- oh, Go on, what the hell? What I looked at it for a different perspective for the first time. Yeah. I thought, these bad things or whatever, these malevolent actions maybe have happened to me but it's not about me. It's that the, the problem is not that it happened to me. The problem is humans do this. Mm -hmm. We as a species are cap or we as an entity are capable of these things. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it happened to me or happened to somebody else. Mm -hmm. The issue is it happens, it happens consciously with intent. That's the problem yeah. with evil, man. One of the problems of evil. And we could call it evil, yeah. but there's other ways of putting it. You said that today, I think, to Joseph, you said, oh, it's human nature. Well, for real. To do, perhaps he was talking about... He's talking about genocide. Genocide, yeah. And, and it, it, it does it, happen. And yeah, he said it happened in Rwanda. It happened in... Like, we can, put, we can all pick on one. It does happen everywhere. But that doesn't make the others okay. No, it, it's... The, the interesting idea for me is that we are capable of this. You, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and something else. I want to see what you think about this. Because I might not be able to word it correctly. But these are ideas that... Are new, new ideas for me that I've been that I've been thinking about. Yeah. Right. If I can't see any so-called evidence of a, of other beings, let's say, or higher beings, or a god, yeah. but I can imagine one, mm. and I can imagine the attributes, and maybe I could, in some sense, at least in how you live your personal, your own life, with, let's say, honesty and integrity and self-respect and restraint and kindness, we might appropriate, we might put these ideas onto gods and make the attribute as high as it could be. Yeah. For me, because maybe you can see where I'm coming from. Because that we can because we can imagine these things what they might be and because we can bring them into being within our own life and in our minds. That to me makes us basically a equivalent of the gods that we envision. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I don't see any gods, but I can imagine a god. Mm -hmm. Does that not mean that we are capable of godliness? Yeah. For me, it, it is, and also the opposite, as is evident. R r devilishness, yeah, or whatever. Right. Okay. You, know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And the the Bible says that God made man in His own image. Mm. It was probably the other way around. Right. Man created God in His own image. Mm. And they say that societies will create the God they need. That's a very interesting one. Um, hmm. And what does it tell you about a society that creates a God that is all about forgiveness? Hmm. They must feel very guilty about things they've done. Right. Hmm. That's one way of looking at it. I mean, I would, I would say, yeah. I'd say most, a lot of people will feel guilty for things they've, they've done, no matter what the culture. Yeah. I suppose, but yeah, yeah. maybe I'm, I'm not, wrong. I'm that. That, that's I'm talking Abrahamic faiths, but yeah. then they are also vengeful, wrathful God uh, as well. That's right. Uh, I think the Eastern religions. Uh, are much less about a vengeful, wrathful God. Yeah, right. It seems. Very interesting. It's an area that I, I don't know enough about, uh, about Eastern philosophy. And I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm trying to pick a book at the moment, which is the next book I will read. I'm trying to pick. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure. There's an unbelievable range that yeah. I want to read. <laughs> A lot of books out Here's something for you. Mm. I don't remember, I mean, I can't remember the statistic. You can look it up, but it's just the idea that's important is that if you read a book, if you tried to read a book maybe every day for your entire life, you'd only get through, maybe not every day, that's not that feasible, but every week, yeah. you'd only get through a couple of thousand in an average lifespan. Yeah. And there's so much knowledge out there. Yeah, there and not, never mind knowledge, but wisdom to be gained from your own inflection upon an idea. And there is so much more than the facts because we can pluck any fact out of the air now pretty much any statistic I want I've probably got it at the touch of a button mm. on Google but it won't tell me any ideas about it or what, what the implication of it right that you have to gain that through your own inquiries yeah. it has to be hard won mm. I, I think I get what you're saying sorry I don't know how to help with that yet wow wow <laughs> 
and they're listening all the time. That's weird. I didn't ask for your help. Well, let's let's not talk about Israel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Careful what you say. They're listening. Oh right. ah, well. In any case, you could look at it this way: those who are entirely concerned about the conduct of others maybe want to question their motives. Again. So, so yeah, those that the conduct of others want to question their motives. Yeah, if Is you know what I mean. Yeah. It's, if you're paranoid about what everybody else is saying about you yeah. maybe you need to address something within your own character yeah that's something that goes into whenever i encounter people talking about how hurt and how offended they are about something somebody said that they don't even know yeah i find it very hard to take them seriously yeah stoicism is the answer guys but oh, you have to drop your victim narrative you might not yeah. want to do that because it gives you power Going back to what you said about if you read all the books in the world, right? Um, you see those people on quiz shows uh, or that go on Mastermind or whatever that have a vast, vast amount of knowledge, mm. and even in the general knowledge round, they're plucking things out of their head that you think, God, how, when did they get time to learn all these facts? They've probably got some sort of high recall photographic memory or something. Probably, they could... but they must have also devoted a lot of time to honing that party trick. Yeah. Yeah. Would, would they have been better spending their time thinking about these ideas and re reflecting on them mm. rather than learning, learning facts, facts, facts? I'd say absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and maybe they have as well. Maybe mm, the pe yeah. people with that kind of knowledge doesn't mean you're not also very philosophical, if, if that's the word. Yeah, no, I, I get you. Or concerned with wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Yeah, concerned with wisdom. But then at what point does it come? We've got a contact room. Here we go. Well, at what point does it become just irrelevant? Is it all does hmm. is it always going to come down to your own opinion? So you might as well learn the hard, solid facts because at least you can be correct about that. Well, you can't be correct about mo morals. Well, that's a great question. And the thing for me, I, I don't know. Maybe the way I look at things is maybe quite different from a lot of people. I'm not sure. But because this is what I talk about when taking out people's axioms that they use to understand the world is a really dangerous thing. Because you, you need to have something, generally, you need to have some sort of idea that you can stand on solid ground yeah. within your own psyche. Like, we're not talking bullshit here. It's a real thing. People yeah. go into psychosis when they, can't, they don't know if anything's real or right or wrong, or they don't know where, what or where they are. This happens, yeah. it's real. And if you say, oh, well, it doesn't really matter, it's, hmm. you're probably deluding yourself. Yeah. So, I'm trying to answer your question. I don't know. Like when I started teaching religious education, hmm. it, it, the, f the emphasis was that we're learning uh, about and learning from, and the learning about was all the facts and you know, how many how many chapters are in the Bible or whatever. I couldn't tell you. Right. But um, the learning from is well, what do you think about that? Mm. Or what are your ten commandments? What would be your own ten commandments? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the sort of the reflecting aspect of it and yeah. I think in society I said it before about the trivia and what is considered trivia yeah, I remember that it's yeah. been all downplayed I'm a left-handed person mm. which means I'm right brain dominant yeah which is the creative side of your brain apparently mm -hmm. and all the, y the yin and yang and all these things yeah right are everywhere every culture has mentioned them and I think we're living in a very left brain or right handed person dominated world that wants facts that wants black and white yes or no in a sense I, I, I agree with you yeah, but and I feel I'm like I'm a black sheep in that in that sense I don't know are you left handed no okay but I think you think like what I, I think, think a left handed person thinks like yes outside the box reflective creative definitely rather than black and white uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, interesting with what you said there, because I was when you said that, it brought to mind the current ideas of like you know, <clears throat> uh, social justice warrior narratives, mm -hmm. where it's all about feelings. It doesn't matter what's real. Ah, yeah, that's and that's, true. What, Your that's why I resisted okay, when you said. Okay. Good point. Well, maybe. What the fuck's this taxi on, man? Parking there, on a red line, a red zone. Wow, man, it's gonna get lifted. Um, maybe that phenomenon is a backlash to what's missing in society and it, mm. but it's it's coming out it's manifesting itself i think incorrectly because mm. instead of being truly reflective 
and creative it's saying no well you're a white male so you don't count yes no people are it's sort of you're in or you're out right yeah and I'm not dismissing the new left or I, I, I am a left wing person but I get the criticism people have of the new left that is talking about safe spaces and gender neutral toilets <laughs> and or, it, it's the it's this pendulum swinging back the other way it could too it far could, it it's could, a backlash to, to a problem and it's be. created other problems and hopefully we'll get some equilibrium eventually yeah I, interesting I, I'm not sure right for me the equilibrium is a balance with nature mm-hmm. and people might I mean there's interpretations of what that might mean for yeah. real although like as being as I've studied biology yeah. I think the I think the study of nature is incredibly important I think people need to do it more mm-hmm. when you when you even have a cursory discussion about aspects of biology or genetics or evolution or things like this majority of people they don't just not know it's much worse than that they have r- 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 completely wrong ideas okay. about how these yeah. things work yeah. and that why is that bad well because it can be dangerous because it can lead people down paths that are that can be not constructive for social I don't know for strong societies for social progression there's many things I could say you, you get me yeah. so w- one of them here is something I've called which is a term that's been coined deliberately to try and denigrate or subvert the idea of scientific rationality I would argue and it's people who say biological determinism well sorry is actually the case like if you have DNA that says that codes for one attribute you have that DNA and it codes for that attribute. It doesn't matter what you think about it or how you feel about it or what you want it to be or how you wish you could reinterpret it to fit with your political ideology. It doesn't matter. There's no term you can apply to it. You can take it out of your cells, you can analyze it and find out what it is. You get okay, me? so biology does have some hard facts that can't, All of it, yeah. that can't be changed. All of it. Well, you could change it, but the point is, is why would you? why would you? I, why it's man wanting to bend reality to his will and it doesn't seem to work okay because I yeah if you if you get what I'm trying to say because I, I've encountered this <sighs> yeah are we talk, are we talking identifying as a different gender that's part of it uh, okay that, that could, that's definitely part of it and well there's various arguments to be made but the fact that pe- this is becoming has became oh I can't speak now it's too too late hmm. it has become an issue that's completely out of proportion with what it's, I would say is reasonable to be well, seems are, that there's something much more underground here are the social sciences actual sciences well uh, or are they just speculation well, they're not science, not sciences in the way that biology, chemistry, and physics are sciences. No, but it doesn't mean that they're not valid areas of of inquiry because they are. Mm-hmm. But it, you can't take a professor's opinion to be more valid than what is in your DNA. If you have, you know, if you have X Y, you're a man. If you have well, X X, you're a woman. But and that's your that's sex. Science. That's your sex. Your gender is the role that you subscribe to within a society within a social con- like an individual on an island in the middle of nowhere could be biologically a man or biologically a woman but if there's no society to with it to interact with they're not going to ha- fulfill the role of a man or a woman M- these are roles within society right mm. well to be f- to be fair like to give a, a in my own estimation of what's fair in this yeah. regard is kind of is the best answer I can give you there but the interesting thing about biology and and, and life itself is that it didn't happen 20 years ago didn't happen last week happened countless billions of years ago and everything we are at the moment is a result of that Mm -hmm. and our fundamental instinctive impulsive drives that are run primarily on hormones that are released from your DNA by coding for proteins it's not up to a fucking society. But even things that we take for granted as being facts are often socially constructed, like the notion of childhood. What's mm. a child? It's difficult to define, but easy to recognise, and there will be a very grey area. Interesting. And even being a man or a woman, there are people that are born into sex. I know that's very that's right. uh, rare. Uh, these are real phenomena. But there, yeah. but there are, I mean, what is a man? What is a woman? 
Well, it has a biological reality. I can easily, just, you, you know. Well, I already said it. It's the, the chromosomes. The, yeah. Okay. Because I mean, because if you look at bacterium, so, they're asexual. Yeah. And if you look at snails, they're um, hermaphrodites. But we don't go around with a microscope analysing everyone's DNA and, and determining no. their sex biologically. So therefore, we have to make assumptions and we assume people's genders. And most, mm. but we will come across individuals who. Uh, exhibit all the stereotypical characteristics of a male yeah. that are biologically female yeah, yeah, and vice sure. versa and many individuals all the way along that spectrum. Yeah, this is a phenomenon. Yeah, it, it definitely occurs. Uh, my issue is not whether or not it occurs. It's in the, I suppose, the political treatment of this, of these people. Is that um, it's, it's just one topic of a, a whole spectrum of things that I would say I don't know how to I don't know how to I don't want to say what do you call it postmodernist because I don't really can't really well can't really define that term that too well at the moment but what I can say is there seem to be a, col a collective range of viewpoints that people must if they want to be on the left yeah. so to so say have to subscribe to whether or not they know anything about it or not or whether yep. it's contentious or not and that's what I'm talking about is if you want to have an actual a, a rational reasonable scientific discussion on how to deal with blah 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 in society we should do that we need to do it but it's based on it should be based on as much hard data as we can get yeah. not upon feelings yeah. um, and then people take major issues with that and I don't think the issues are entirely irrelevant because society can't it can't function I'm talking way too much man just no, no, jump sorry. in go, go, go for it. if it's run like if you imagine like a scientific dictator dictatorship and everything's yeah. on oh it's just the facts oh it's the hard rationality well you're missing out a huge you're missing out half of being human do you think but, people are arriving to the table with their opinions already oh, yeah. before they've yeah, even sure. thought about it oh sure and uh, we're, we're go everyone's going to do that to a degree if they don't discipline themselves in it and we've all got preconceptions that we we kind of arrive at you know yeah. but anyway see we can move this in another direction yeah, Oh, fuck, it's hot, man. <laughs> yeah. So what were we saying? It's on that topic. You, you made me think today, Joseph said, why is it everyone on the left has to, and he mentioned support ah, Palestine, yeah. has to do this, has to do X, Y, Z. And every now and then, if, if I meet someone who bucks the trend, whether they agree or disagree, I will, I'll find that interesting. Right. Oh, you're a Muslim, but you support Israel. Let me listen to you. Mm. And, or, or, or vice versa. There'll, yeah. there'll be... Um, they've all, they've obviously not just gone with what they're expected. Yeah, right. Uh, to to think. Well, there's a lot of things being said about being an individualist or breaking the trend that is extremely difficult for humans to do. Yeah. You've heard of the I don't know the names of these experiments. I'm not really interested in names, but there's experiments being done. Maybe I talked to you about it about where you have a. It's about authority and about the human idea of authority where they'll, they'll change their views to conform with the group yeah. even if they know 100% that something's not the case. I love these uh, things. But these are terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. This is well, absolutely terrifying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what the hell are we, man? Well, I don't love them. They're ter yeah, right. I, I hate them. People, people are like, oh, uh, experience is logical. Existence is Is it where they say is which, 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 one is, which one is longer? Uh, it, and it's, it's clearly one the one in the middle. Yes. Because everyone else is saying it's the one on the left. That's right. The guy who's not in on it just goes with it. Exactly. And so this is the peer, peer pressure yeah. idea. Yeah. And it's extremely effective. Uh, yeah. And uh, to, to get out of that, you need to cultivate your own will. You need to cultivate your own sense of self. Yeah. You know, um, in the individualistic manner. A friend of mine has a good uh, story about that. Yeah. We, we trained with the same judo sensei when we were kids, but at different judo classes. Bow to your sensei. Bow to the sensei. Do you exactly. know my reference? No. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Okay. Nobody oh, really? knows this movie. It's hilarious. Anyway. I'll have to check it. Sorry, man. So, so the judo. Yeah. So we trained with the same sensei and became friends later and realized we had this sensei in common. All right. And he was saying that uh, during grading one time, uh, and you know, four or five of you will be in the middle and the, the sensei will reel off the uh, terms in uh, Japanese for right. which hold or which throw you're going to do Keza Katami or mm. I can't even remember them to be honest right. um, uh, and he said Keza Katami scarf hold only one I know we'll go with that and all the other people 
got it wrong. Right. But they were looking at each other, ah. copying each other, ah. and con- the consensus made them do the same thing, I see. but incorrectly. They weren't confident and, enough but to my, break the trend. Yeah, my good friend Sam put faith in his own knowledge and did the scaffold because that's what he thought it was. And at the end of the grading, apparently he got himself two stripes instead of one. Oh, nice. Usually you graduate with one, he got yeah. two. And that's because you believed in yourself <laughs> and you didn't let the... Uh, other people around you uh, make you doubt yourself right that's cool man that's Um, good yeah Mm. and there was another one um, I don't remember the name again but it's very famous it's the idea is you get a bunch of people and it's meant to be an experiment and you have a test subject in another room that you you can hear and they're going to be electrocuted you've heard about this one that's the one Stanley Milgram and that if that doesn't scare the shit out of you not much will yeah. I'm going to keep electrocuting this guy after he's clearly died mm. because somebody next to me says do it mm. and everyone's like oh no I wouldn't be the concentration camp guard I'd be yeah. the saviour would you fuck and he, and he, he <laughs> created <laughs> that experiment to try to prove that, that the Germans were innately predisposed to that type of behaviour yeah. and that good American people wouldn't do, wouldn't it. do it but everyone or 80% 90% of people Terrifying. did do it mm. and the, the thing that when I, mean, I when I, I learn I've seen the experiment right right well when Would I, I I don't know I don't know in the right circumstance it's hard man yeah yeah but when I when I come across this information and these these experiments and then I come across people that that are seeming to seem to assume that we're naturally good logical benevolent creatures yeah. I don't think we are man if anything we 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 have the ability to choose and that's incredible. Well, who was it who said you don't have to? It's not evil people; it's good people doing nothing. Right. Mm. And yeah. Pass a by, uh, bias. Yeah, that's a fucked one. That I'm one. Not, I'm not getting involved. Everyone's walking past the the guy lying on the floor. Diffusion of responsibility. If yeah. you were the only person, you'd have to help him. But if there's many other people that you can blame, that's it. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And it's like crowd behaviour, football hooliganism. People do in a group things they would never do on their own that's right well it's it's prob- most likely when I say most likely I'm, I'm pretty much certain I just I have to yeah. use these euphemistic terms to yeah. be fair most likely is a co- is, can easily be related back to our evolutionary history when you have a, a group of people all working together for the same cause if it gets a violent situation those guys are going to act much more extreme yeah. and they're hopefully going to have each other's backs in those moments yeah. and that may be what happens it's probably a big draw of it as well yeah, it's a Chinese saying that the nail that sticks out gets the hammer. That's right. Yeah, I've heard that one. Yeah. Mm. And there, yeah, as That's you said, there's, there's good reasons for it. The bad reasons are more, are more noticeable. But the thing that's puzzling for me is why we can even imagine something that is not within our instincts. Therefore, you could say that our instincts are to imagine new ways of being. Yeah. Isn't that fucking incredible? Yeah. It's far more interesting to me than somebody wrote down all the truths of the universe in a book and here you go. Mm. Come on, guys. But, well, then, is that free will and we're the only creatures that have free will? Mm. I mean, I, I think... I'd be very surprised if there wasn't other life in the universe unless it was deliberately created this way to be a simulation and only wanted us here. You know, I, I would say... That I'd be very surprised if there wasn't other life. Yeah. yeah. So I I imagine maybe they have free will too, but I I don't know. But the thing for me is, like I said, is that we can, like, we don't. How to say it? Like we're a mess, man. But do animals have free will? And do we really have free will? Yeah, yeah. These are the questions. These are the questions. I think we do. And in primary, I don't know how. I haven't really ever tried to flesh out the reasons why. And I'm not familiar with famous philosophers' reasons why either which I think puts me in a more balanced position. So I, I just want to talk about what, what I might think about it. Yeah. Oh, and also you. Because we can, because we can, maybe because we can work directly against our self-preservation. That seems quite, quite reasonable to think that we have free will because we an argument- kill ourselves. Right, but not just that. We could destroy we everything. Yeah, okay. And we can do it consciously and willingly. I can't, I can't see that, be, I don't think that behavior can be properly and, demonstrated in other creatures and it's, and it's often easier right it's easier to destroy than create oh yeah for real well, like for example we love sugar and sugar is we've mentioned this before has a detrimental effect on your health but in the wild it's good for you 
Right. So our destruction through sugar addiction, which we have at the moment, mm. cut, stems from a uh, instinct that was actually designed, if it was, to help us survive. Right. Yeah. And it's now turned against us. Yeah, due to our habits. Yeah. I imagine. Yeah, for real. So, pretty crazy times, man. It, it, does my theory make any sense? You, like, Run it by me one more. Right, okay, so here's an idea. So if you look at the natural world, let's say a bunch of animals, yeah. we might say, do they have free will or are they only following their pre-programmed instincts? Well, I think they're following their instincts. Yeah. But, but then, well, we're also animals. We also have instincts. Is everything we do simply a manifestation of that? Is a good question. Yeah. But I don't see animals actively working to destroy all of life when that's something that humans can deliberately choose to do. Or we could do the opposite. You know, and that seems to me far beyond the scope of natural selection evolution. Or could it, it's all just a coincidence that it happened, maybe. Is it just an infinitely more complex process and everything is created and then destroyed and we are living in the last days because we're going to destroy ourselves and it will start all over again? And that was natural. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Like the end of the universe or something? End, end of this civilization. Oh, right. We've, re we've boomed and now we're going to bust. And then well, two survivors civil will start again. Has civilization ever ended? I don't think it has. has it's it, only did just it moved. Start? When did it start? Right. Yeah, it was civilization. Were there what does ancient it mean? civilizations that were more advanced than we are? Oh, before the Ice Age. I, a, there's a theory about that and I think it might be, it might be likely. There's a, they discovered a, I've just mentioned this before in another video, discovered a meteorite impact underneath Greenland ice sheet, which is meant to correspond when there was a global flood. And I think the possibilities that there were other civilizations after, before that occurred and they got wiped out. I, yeah. I think it's possible. I love that. I love the idea where Hassan Radwan in yeah. the comments uh, last time we touched upon yep. this said, uh, there's nothing spooky about the notion of ancient civilization we now know that uh human uh history goes back as far as a hundred thousand years or, or it goes back further than we once mm. uh, thought well, i think i think to say we know something strongly right. about such a long time in the past is is not that fair statement or, or our estimation of of when life began okay is now much further uh, back is further back yeah uh, have you looked at Atlantis? I have. I've heard, not really. No, I mean, I've obviously I've heard the myth yeah. and such, but uh, I mean, for me, it, it could very well just be a story. Could be. I, I don't see but why I mean, not. Every, every culture has a flood story. Oh, the flood, but not the yeah. Atlantis. Oh, like, yeah, no, yeah. But the idea then there would have been civilizations flooded. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm with that. Mm. What were you saying before that? I think I was saying about the free will, free will. and the oh, instincts. Yeah. I was going so, to tell you, yeah. yeah, tell me. Um, um, at one of these uh, talk nights, I was telling you about in Redden. Oh uh, yeah, I famously came up with this fact that I'd heard somewhere, possibly David at Attenborough or something. A, wo a woodlouse, if uh, uh, faced with a barrier, will automatically turn left. Oh, really? And the next time it will met with a barrier, it will turn right. Mm. And it will alternate between left and right when it's faced with this barrier uh, time after time. Oh, nice. That's very interesting. Never heard that. I know. And apparently it's not true <laughs> because we got one out, tried to demonstrate it, and it wasn't true at all. Oh, well. But I'd heard it somewhere. It sounded plausible. Yeah. And I'd gone with it. Mm. Like, yeah, they go left and they go right. Because mm. a being that simple, you would think, oh, maybe they do just go left and right, left, but and, right, I mean, left and right. Yeah. Um, but apparently this one didn't. Yeah. But I was trying to say that maybe we are just an infinitely more complex, right? But still I, tangible I version of that. But how would I, I? I understand you. But the thing, the next question for me would be, wh why would that develop along the same? We're using the same mechanics of genetic drift and natural selection. Mm. Why would something super com more complicated than anything else on the planet develop only in one species at one time to this insane level? Well, we are... I don't know. We are so, so far ahead, so it seems. But at the, ed at the edges of um, possibility, 1% seems astronomical. Right. Um, like... 
for us an example. All right, 100 meter sprint, mm. dominated by black athletes. Fastest uh, ever uh, runner, Usain Bolt, ran, yeah. the, ran the 100 meters in 9.58. Right. Let's call it 9.6. Right. I think the, the world record for a, a non-black individual would be Christophe Lemaitre, French guy, who ran it in uh, 9.92, I think. Call it nine. So 0.3 of a second later. Yeah, right. That's in, in a 10 second race, 0.3 of a second. It's huge. Is it's tiny, but it's huge. Yeah. So it's a tiny percentage. Uh, he's what, one percent quicker. Mm. But in a hundred meters race, that translates as huge. And very, very few white athletes have ever even made the, the final of a of a of a Olympics. Never yeah. mind, won the damn thing. Yeah, right. But black athletes are only one percent faster than white athletes. Mm. But I, but in at the very edge, it seems to be an astronomical That's right, advantage. Because yeah. they're pushing or, or the edge. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we are only pushing the edge, but maybe at that edge, once you're over that line. You can begin. You can begin to mm. develop technology. Yeah, I mean, we, we're not that far ahead of the chimpanzee in terms of DNA, but we're off, we're astronomically ahead in terms of what we can do. Yep, I understand you. That's a tricky um, one, man. And it makes it, it like we we can't quite we can't comprehend coincidences. Yeah. The person who, who prays to win the lottery and wins the lottery thinks, "Well, that's it. God is real." But every week. Most people that play the lottery probably pray to win it. That's right, yeah. Uh, like this, I've said to you before, we seem to be a mess of contradictions, man. Like there's there's forces within our being, or within our psyche, within our instincts, maybe not instincts, but something within us that drives us in opposite directions most of the time. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, you, you can have the best intentions, uh, I don't know, you could have an idea of how you want to improve yourself on something and you can actively work to sabotage that because you're scared about the possible consequences of your success. Mm -hmm. Like, what animal does that? It's fucking ridiculous. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Well, sometimes we attract the things that will destroy us. Yeah. The, thing that he, the thing that man loves, he breaks. I don't know, I, I, I don't like that one. No? Too, <laughs> cliche, too cliche for you? No, I just I mean yeah. I don't agree with it. Or I don't want to agree with it.